Dear Diary, I've always thought that writing in a diary was a childish thing to do, but now I bought one because I'm desperate to write down my thoughts. I just need to let it all out since I can't keep it to myself any longer. I have a secret that I don't dare to share with anyone I know, not even with my best friend. And that's because I have a huge crush on him. Cute and innocent guys are my type. And it just so happens that my best friend has those traits. I've been friends with Danny ever since we were kids. We met each other at a playground and played there often. Since we live in the same neighborhood, we got closer after spending more and more time together. Our parents even became friends. Danny has always been exceptionally cute in my eyes. When he was excited, he'd cling onto my arm. When he was angry, he'd pout adorably. When he was sad, he'd lean his head onto my shoulder. All those things made me fall for him even more every passing day. He didn't act cute on purpose. That was just the way he was. But as we grew older, Danny slowly began to change. He stopped doing those adorable gestures to me because he thought they were childish. He no longer held my hand. He started to hate being called cute. I managed to endure this apocalyptic ship since I still found him cute. But is the tragedy over? I think not. I'm no prophet, but I can sense another wave of disaster coming. Why? Because when I met up with Danny today... Uh, what's up with you? I'm just frustrated. And why is that? Because while I was on my way here, an old grandma dropped her purse, so I picked it up for her. She thanked me and said that she's pleased young boys are growing up with such good behavior. I'm obviously not a growing young boy. I'm 21. You are still a young lad to me, Danny. And the other day, one of those annoying guys that goes door to door to advertise to you about their business showed up at my house. Then they asked if my parents were home since they wanted to speak to an adult. I am a grown adult, damn it. How do I keep getting mistaken for a child? Because you're cute. Is what I like to say, but I know very well that the four letter words were like a curse to my best friend. He wouldn't understand my pain, bro. It's all immature, so people don't treat you like a kid. Some people would kill to look younger than their age, so maybe your fruitful, maybe your youthful face is a blessing. It's a curse. When Danny pouts, I had to bite my lips to prevent myself from calling him the forbidden word. There's no point in complaining. I've been enduring for the past few years since I became an adult. I can't take it anymore. I need to do something about this. I think it's time for me to switch up my style. Maybe it's this hairstyle that's making me look like a kid. Then I need to get a haircut right away. I've had the same cut for years, so a change definitely seems like what I need. Wanting to be supportive of my best friend, I nod along. Let me ask you something, bro. What type of person would you consider to have a cool appearance? Uh, mobster, military personnel, a rock star. Uh, I don't know. Uh, mobsters are neat, but I don't know. I'm, I'm more of a rock star sort of dude. Maybe a rock star? I've always thought they look cute whenever I saw them perform on stage. Nah, yeah, you're right. Thanks, bro. Huh? Why are you thanking me for answering that? Without saying anything, Danny smiles to himself. Huh. Dear Diary, I didn't think I need to write my thoughts again, like, so soon. But something tragic happened, and I need to write about it to express my feelings. So today, my heart broke. No, I wasn't rejected or dumped. In fact, I'd, I experienced something far worse. My cute best friend is only trying to uncutify himself more, and it's killing me! Is uncutify even a word? Whatever. My diary, my grammar rules. Daddy's cuteness is what made me fall for him. But he's trying his best to get rid of that. He's still cute, but I wonder when it'll all disappear one day. This is a genuine worry of mine. On the outside, I'm his good friend who's supportive of him doing what he wants. But on the inside, my heart weeps. Not all is lost, though. Despite his efforts to change his appearance, 
I hope his innocent personality stays the same. Do you know how many other men in this world are as innocent as Danny? Probably close to zero. Man, a horned beast. None of them are sheep with pure souls like Danny. I guess this is why my best friend remained my type all these years. There's no one else like him. Today when I saw him. I'm supposed to meet up with my best friend today, but he seems to be nowhere in sight. All of a sudden, I feel a tap on my shoulders, so I turn to look. Hey, bro. Man, he looking fine. It takes me a full minute to register that this young man standing in front of me is none other than my best friend. Danny? You look different. Yep, yeah, I immediately changed my hairstyle after we had that talk the other day. I chose a style based on your recommendation. What do you think? I look cool and manly now, right? Yeah, you do. Heavens, why? Those cute fringes were a part of adorableness. Why did you take that away? I should have told him not to change his hairstyle. But this is what he wants, so I should be happy for him. He looks happier now, so I should be happy too. Seeing the grin on my friend's face, I can't help but smile. On second thought, he still has an adorable smile no matter what haircut he has. Regardless of this change, I'm still so whipped for him. So whipped! You seem more confident. Yeah, I am. I felt happy when I looked in the mirror this morning. Then I'm glad you're happy. At the end of the day, that's what's supposed to matter. Not my preferences. In the middle of our conversation, an unfamiliar man approaches Danny. Excuse me, son. Can you tell me where the supermarket is? Oh, it's just down the street. When you come across the junction, turn right, then you'll see the supermarket. Thanks for your help. The man happily leaves, and oddly enough, Danny now appears as though he's in a bad mood. What's wrong? Do you know why that man asked for directions, but... Like, do you know why the man asked me for directions, but not you or anyone else around? No. Why? Because people subconsciously come to me because I look approachable. All my life, I looked like a softy that strange just felt at ease approaching me. Two out of ten times I go outside, there's someone who'll come up to me to ask for directions. Isn't that a good thing that people are comfortable? No, that means I don't look intimidating. If I can look intimidating, then I'll finally be cool and uncute. Just a haircut alone isn't enough for me. I need to turn it up a notch. Then what are you going to do? Danny takes a moment to ponder. Hey, bro. Have you ever thought about dyeing your hair? I did, but I decided to keep my natural hair color in the end. I see. If you did decide to go through with dyeing your hair, what color would you have chosen? Uh, blonde, red, ash gray. Ash gray for me. I mean, like, if, if it's, like, for me, I'd go with ash gray. I would have chosen to dye my hair ash gray. It looks really swell, and it's a color that I think most people will pull off. So that hair color is cool to you, huh? Wait, don't tell me you're planning to dye your hair. Maybe. Danny? Danny, no. Dear diary, I always thought Danny looked like a cute puppy with soft brown hair. Whenever I saw Pomeranian, I was instantly reminded of my best friend. Not only is he adorable like a Pomeranian, but he's also cheeky at times. His short height is just like that of a small dog breed. I can imagine him being upset if I compared him to a small dog breed because he has a... He has a complex about his height. Whenever he felt insecure, I wanted to tell him that he's already perfect. But I felt like he'd reveal... I, I felt like that would reveal my feelings for him, so I've always kept my response vague. I can't selfishly think of wanting to keep Danny looking the same as he'd always had. He clearly isn't happy with his current self, and what I want the most in this world is for Danny to love himself. If only he could see what I see in him. With more changes, I hope he'll finally be comfortable with himself. I'll still like Danny the same regardless. The day when I saw him. What's up, bro? Seeing my best friend Rocky a new hair color, I stared at him for quite a bit. I didn't think you'd dye your hair so soon, and... Man, I should have picked red. I think red would have looked so much nicer. That's because I wanted to change as soon as possible. What do you think? Does it look good on me? Yeah, it does. I thought I'd be devastated to see that his natural brown hair is no more. But I actually like this new change. The color really suits him. How do you feel about yourself? I feel awesome. 
Like I'm on top of the world. I can feel myself becoming cooler and cooler. The grin on Danny's face compelled me to pinch his cheeks. But I had to do my best to restrain my desire since he doesn't like that kind of gesture. He's the type of guy who would definitely only do fist bumps. Head pads, chin rubs, and are... Well, I mean, head pads, chin rubs, and such are off limits since he doesn't want to feel like a child. Also, I know I shouldn't be rolling back right now just so I can get a different hair color, but I the the, the gray is really bothering me. I I, I want it to be red. The, the red will be really striking. Okay, there. You look so much better now. Head pads, chin rubs, and such are off limits since he doesn't want to feel like a child. I find it torturous to hold myself back, but it's what I have to do since I respect his wishes. Out of nowhere, an old woman who appears angry storms up to Danny. Young man! Are you talking to me? Yes, you! A middle school like you shouldn't be dyeing your hair. Doesn't your school have a proper dress code policy? <laughs> oh no, he's hot! Uh, you're mistaken, ma'am. I'm no middle schooler. I'm a grown adult. You're just making excuses. You don't look like an adult, so you can't fool me. I'm telling you the truth! Danny quickly takes out his identification card from his wallet before flashing it at the woman. See? I'm an adult. The anger on the woman's face immediately leaves. I'm so sorry for accusing you. I really thought you were a middle schooler. I used to be a school teacher back in the day, so I have a habit of calling out delinquents. The old woman apologizes yet again before turning back to leave, embarrassed. I turn to look at my best friend, who now has his head down. Are you alright? He shakes his head. How I wish I was as tall as you. Part of the reason why I get mistaken as a kid or get treated like a kid is probably because I'm small. It really sucks. Even if I manage to change my hair, my efforts in becoming cooler are useless when I couldn't change my height. I like to see Danny pout adorably, but this is an exception. Whenever he shares his insecurity with me, it breaks my heart that someone as perfect as him would feel such a way. Height doesn't matter. What can you do with height? Reach the top of the shelf? When you're short, you have more leg room on planes, so there are benefits of being short too. But there are some people out there who only date guys who are tall, so being tall is a desirable trait, right? You don't have to impress those kinds of people, Danny. Regardless of your height, there will be people who like you for who you are. Like me. I think you're fine just the way you are. Really. I'm just saying that to make me feel better. Thanks for reassuring me. I don't know if you're being genuine or not, but I'm starting to feel better about myself. I'm being genuine. You know I never lied to you. You're right. The blush on his cheeks makes me swoon. No matter how Danny looks, his shy smile will always have me in a chokehold. It's alright if I can change my height. I'll just change something else to become cooler. That's the right attitude. You think I should change the way I dress? Oversized hoodies make me comfy, but... I think they also attribute to making me seem more like a kid. If it'll make you feel better, you should try experimenting with your fashion. Yeah, I should. In my mind, I want to recommend him to wear a fluffy bear hoodie, but I know he'd think of making fun of him if I did so. I watch as Danny whips out his phone to type something on it. A minute later, he puts his phone back inside his pocket before looking up at me. Alright, I got three styles that I think will help me look cooler. I want your opinion, bro. Should I go biker, sportswear, or formal? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, I am really into the biker look, but I don't know what the biker look is like to you. Oh, uh, sportswear? Formal? Formal is, I mean, God, I, I would love to see him in a suit, but ooh, biker. We, we can always get. Oh, man. I didn't save. I didn't save. Right, I managed to make a save, mainly because I do want to see, like, which outfit looks best on him. Like, I like this hair so far, but if the outfit doesn't slay, like, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll just roll back and make him wear something else. All right. Uh, but anyway, biker for now. Biker sounds like what you might be looking for. All right, I'm going to take your suggestion. The next time you see me, I'm going to be a different person. Later, bro. Got I got some clothes shopping to do. <sighs> Dear Diary, Danny's appearance keeps changing whenever I meet up with him. My cute best friend, who used to wear vibrant, oversized clothes, has now made a complete 180 with his fashion sense. But despite that, his personality remains the same. 
I still have a massive crush on Danny, like I'd always had. I realized then that I don't have to stick with a specific taste I'd carried since childhood. My ideal type isn't adorable and innocent, guys. My ideal type is Danny. I've come to accept that Danny will always be attractive to me, no matter what he does. Being head over heels for someone makes you love them unconditionally. Today when I saw him. Hey, bro. Oh, he hot. Hey, oh, hot. Hey, bro. How do I look? You look different for sure. I think it's cool. Right? I'm starting to like how I look more and more. I feel like this style has been my calling all along. I still think I can do even more to reach maximum coolness. What are you planning to do next? I was looking up ways on how to make myself look cooler online, and people were saying that accessories would help me with that. What do you think? Do you think I should wear accessories? It's up to you. Your opinion is important to me, though. I find myself shaking when Danny says such a cute thing shyly. After taking a few deep breaths, I managed to calm myself down. Accessories and such shouldn't be worn for the sake of impressing others. They should be worn for the sake of boosting your confidence and make you feel better about your appearance. My opinion about what you should wear or shouldn't wear doesn't matter, Danny. What's important is that you do what you want to make yourself happy. As long as you're happy, I'll be happy. Damn, that's a cool thing to say. Sometimes you really are cool. Danny shakes his head and the blush on his face disappears. Alright, I decided to get more accessories. To make me feel better about myself, of course. I give him a nod. There are three kinds of accessories I'm thinking of that'll help me feel cooler. So what should I go with? A choker, a chain necklace, or a temporary neck tattoo? Ah! Uh, I mean, would this fit? I'd say a chain necklace, actually? A chain necklace with this fit would look pretty dope. I think a chain... I think a chain necklace would be nice. Then I'll go with that. Danny grins at me happily, making me smile back at him. I wasn't lying when I said his happiness is my happiness. Ah, <sighs> dear diary, dear diary. I've been learning a lot about myself. I feel as though I'm beginning to get attracted to Danny way more than I've ever been. My best friend is starting to look cool, like he wanted. Even though his style is completely different from then, this new side of him has slowly made me more smitten with him. There's this attractiveness to the gap between his cool exterior and his adorable personality. A month ago, I never thought I'd be into that type of guy. I'd say seem to, to be changing along with Danny's appearance. A tough looking guy who's actually a cutie? Why is Gap Moe so attractive? Scientists need to research this phenomenon, in my opinion. I'll use my savings to fund this research if I have to. I dub I'm actually attracted to every guy who has Gap Moe. I think I'm just attracted to Danny only. Today when I saw him. Alright, how does he look? How does he look? Could be better. Could be better. I'm, I'm gonna roll back and we'll, we'll try the uh, we'll try the choker. Let's see how the choker looks on him. Um, it really doesn't suit the fit. Maybe a temporary neck tattoo. Would a temporary neck tattoo look better with this outfit? Okay, okay, that looks so much better. Like holy frick! Somehow the choker and then like the chain necklace, it really didn't suit the fit. Hello. Then he shows me a grin as he waves at me. I immediately notice the change in his appearance. What do you think of the new addition to my look? It looks great on you. You always say that. I'm not saying that just to be nice. I'm being honest. How many times do I have to reassure you? I mean, you've never been against any changes I make, so I'm suspicious. I'm your best friend. Of course I'm going to be supportive. As always. You're so nice, man. When I showed him my looks to my other friends last night, he said, what are you, my girlfriend? Why should I care? Some dudes will always be dudes. That's why I find it refreshing to be with you, since you're so attentive. It makes me feel really cared for. A slight brush, I mean, a slight blush appears on Danny's cheeks. You know, bro, I think you're the coolest guy I know. Not only do you look cool, but you're always so calm and mature. I seem calm to you because I'm trying my best to be in zen mode, or else my desire to squish your cheeks might come out. I'm not as calm as mature as you think I am. For example, I'm thinking about squishing your cheeks. Still, I've known you for years, so I think you're super cool regardless. An arrow has pierced through my heart. Whenever Danny praises me, I want to scream.
game at the world since I feel like a champion. It's kind of embarrassing for me to say such things, huh? I appreciate hearing them. I'm glad. Yeah. My heart stops the moment I hear his adorable little giggle. I suddenly have the urge to smash my head against the wall because how can a human be so adorable? It makes me want to start a conspiracy theory that Danny must be from a planet filled with adorable creatures who are just like him. Hey bro, you alright? Seem like you're out of it today. I'm fine, don't mind me. If you say so. The way Danny's forehead scrunches makes me feel as though I've committed a sin for making him worry. I was spaced out because I was thinking about how cool you've gotten. For real? I think your adorableness is doubling too. I've been thinking about upgrading my looks even more. Do you think I should start puffing cigarettes? It seems like a cool thing to do. No, anything but that! Cigarettes are bad for you! Strangely enough, Danny lets out a chuckle. You've always agreed to all my decisions, so I'm surprised there's something that you're against. I may be supportive, but I don't want you to do- I don't want you to do something that'll be detrimental to your health. I understand. I won't smoke. <laughs> eh, I'll think of something else instead. Then he takes a brief moment to ponder. Since the eyes are the most important part of the face, I should do something about them. Shall I wear glasses? Sunglasses are put on eyeshadow. Oh my god, pop punk, pop punk Danny? Pop punk Danny, her glasses. Hmm, ooh, ooh, ah, eyeshadow. Yeah, I'm curious to see what the glasses look like though. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. We'll take a look at the eyeshadow first, and then we'll take a look at the glasses. All right, well, that's what we'll do. Eyeshadow will be a good option if you want to look more mysterious. Then I'll try it out. Thanks for helping me pick, bro. Dear Diary, I found a new word to describe my best friend. Hot! The more changes he makes to his appearance, the more I find him hot! I'm definitely not upset about him growing out his cute cocoon anymore. The new Danny is just as great as the old Danny. It's hard to believe that I used to dread it when my best friend made changes to his appearance in the beginning. Now I'm actually eager to know how HOT he'll turn out every passing day. To tell you when I saw him. Hot? 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 Cute! Very cute! Now I'm gonna go back to the glasses though, cause uh... uh you, you don't really have the hair to pull off the... You, you don't really have the hair to pull that off. Okay, uh, he looks Korean now. <laughs> oh god. Alright, alright, now, now we got something we can work with. The sunglasses look good on him. Like, I, I do like how the sunglasses look. Danny rushes up to me with an excited look on his face. You seem happy. I am. I think the new change I've added made a significant impact to my look. I just realized I just made a Final Fantasy VII character. I turned you into a Final Fantasy! I am. I think the new changes I've added made a significant impact on my looks. Even though Danny started to look more and more like a bad boy, the happy grin on his face never fails to take away his innocence. He'll always make my heart flutter, no matter what. So, tell me, what's making you so happy? This morning, a little boy came up to me. And guess what? He called me cool! If other people are noticing it, that must be really cool. I'm really glad that my efforts are showing. I'm happy for you, Danny. Thanks, bro. You know, maybe I should upgrade my looks a little more to be even cooler. Do you still have more ideas? Of course, I've been thinking about getting some piercings lately. Should I get my ears pierced? Or I could get my nose or brow pierced instead. What do you think? Oh, I mean, uh... Uh, eyebrow? Eyebrow piercing sounds great. I mean, nose piercing? I think all these are good options. Uh, ear piercing is like, you know, it's pretty basic. I mean, but then again, you can never go wrong with classic. Eyebrow piercing. You should try piercing your eyebrows. I think it'll definitely make you look cooler. Alright, then I'll do that. I'm not really fond of the idea of puncturing myself a needle, but I think it'll be worth it if I can achieve the look I want. You scared? Of course not. Maybe a bit. Do you want me to accompany you when you get your piercing? Nah, I should go by myself. I shouldn't really uh, rely on you for moral support so much. But I want to be there for you! I let out a sigh under my breath. Ah, <sighs> dear diary. I'm head over heels for Danny. And it was obvious by now, but I just need to write that down. 
Annie is adorable. Annie is sweet. Annie is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I really liked Annie. Uh, I'm suddenly upset. I wish I had the balls to confess to his face. I'm really worried that he'd reject me and feel weirded out. I'd hate to ruin our friendship. I should be satisfied with what I have with Danny at the moment. I shouldn't be selfish. As long as I can stay by his side, I'll be happy. I... If I have to restrain myself from kissing him, I'll do that for the rest of my life. I'm prepared to be sworn to celibacy because I don't mind if I continue through life with this platonic friendship. That's just how much he means to me. Danny is that precious and I don't ever want to lose him because of my desires. It's really hard when he's becoming sexier every day. Sure, it was easy for me when he looked as innocent as a sheep. It was difficult when he looks hot, damn it. I'm being tempted by the devil, that's what it is. Woe is me. It's fine, I'll hold back my desires and continue to be a supportive best friend. I'm really glad that we're still hanging out with each other so often. The day when I saw him. He got hotter, didn't he? Yeah, that works. That works. Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. I do want to see what the ear piercing looks like. I'm curious. I'm curious. Ooh, hey, actually, the ear piercing's not bad. Um, hmm. But, uh, maybe I want to see nose piercing just, just for the funsies. Oh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, you're looking so much more anime right now, but, uh, Oh, man, um, I guess... Okay, I think of the three, I do like the ear piercings best, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with the ear piercings, and we're just gonna settle with that. Hey, yeah. It doesn't even take me long to see that he'd already gotten piercings. Upon closer look, the area around the piercing seems to be swelling a bit. Did it hurt when you went to get a piercing? Yeah, it did. People lie and say it'll only sting, but I find it painful. At least the discomfort is worth it since I get to look cool. What do you think? Danny looks at me in anticipation, as if he's yearning for a compliment. If he had a tail, I bet it would be wagging. I think your new piercings look great. Danny smiles at me warmly. The kind of smiles that... The kind of smile that makes my heart crawl out of my mouth. He's still as adorable as always. I continue to have a conversation with Danny. Strangely enough, he doesn't bring up any wishes to add another addition to his appearance. Maybe he doesn't need my opinion anymore. Maybe it'll be a surprise the next time I see him. Thinking about it makes me feel a little excited. Hmm. Your diary? Oh, no diary! A few days later, I meet up with Danny at our usual spot. Compared to the last time I saw him, there seems to be no new changes as far as the eye can see. Maybe it's hidden? Maybe it's a nipple- <laughs> It's a what? My mind starts to go to forbidden territories, and I have to just shake my head to raise my thoughts. Maybe he had a piercing, like, word, um, uh, so like somewhere fun. Somewhere real fun. I must keep my feelings for Danny Beer because he's as innocent as a sheep, and I wanted to stay that way. Hey, did you any changes to your style recently? Nah, I didn't. I'm actually 100% satisfied with the way I am now. I feel I can finally love myself. My heart skips a beat when my best friend beams at me. Although I've seen him smile multiple times over the course of our long friendship, it never fails to make my stomach flutter. The smile is something I'm willing to protect for the rest of my life. Hey bro, just want to thank you for helping me choose a style. It's all because of you I'm able to look cool. You're a really great friend. I'm glad you were with me throughout my journey to change. I wouldn't have asked for anything else. You're the best buddy anyone could ever ask for. I love you, bro. Even though I know his love is platonic, I can't help but blush at his words. The way his eyes crinkle into a smile. The way he shyly shows his gratitude. The way that there was a slight shade of blush on his cheeks. My lips begin to tremble. There's no possible way I can hold it in anymore. You're so cute. <laughs> oh no, I shattered this man's worldview! Oh no, I did the unthinkable. I said the C word out loud. The hell, bro? Why'd you call me cute? I did my best to change, I can't believe I'm still cute. Peering frustrated, Danny lets out a groan. Forget it. This was all useless in the end. I'll never escape my curse. It breaks my heart to see my best friend genuinely upset. It's all because of me. 
I know I need to fix it right away. No, Danny, you are really cool, not cute. But you said, look at yourself in the mirror. You definitely look cool. Everyone else will think so too. The only reason I still think you're cute is because I have a crush on you. That's why you'll always be cute to me. Wait, what? You like like me, bro? Uh, yeah. Oh, I never knew that. My best friend's response to my confession causes my heart to churn. I regret accidentally blurting out my feelings. Of course they wouldn't be reciprocated. I'm sorry. Forget what I said. You must think it's weird. I don't want to ruin our friendship because of my confession. I'm really sorry. Wait. I like like you too, bro. It takes me a while for my brain to register what he said. I think I must have short-circuited because my jaw opens, but no words will come out of my throat. I continue to stare at Danny, who seems to be fidgeting nervously. Say something, asshole! Don't leave me hanging. Do you really like me? Like the way couples do? That's obviously what I meant. I want to hold your hand and stuff, but that's not a cool thing to do. The reason why I wanted to be cool in the first place was because of you. Me? Yeah. I've always been cool and mature. Standing beside you. I felt like I'm not your... I felt like I'm not on your level. Constantly being treated like a kid by others made me insecure. I felt like... I felt like I'd never catch up to you. That's the reason why I wanted to change so badly. I wanted to be your equal. During the confession, my jaw hangs agape the second time. I had to pinch myself to make sure I'm not dreaming. All these years, I fantasized about having my feelings reciprocated. And now it's hard to believe that's actually happening. Am I talking to a statue or what? You... I what? You're so cute! Dear Diary, Danny punched my face for making a spectacle in public. It hurts a lot. My cheeks stung like hell. It was worth it because Danny's embarrassed reaction was so... Cute! The end. Anyway, that was uncutifying Danny. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do want to play this for yourselves, link to the game will be in the description below. And please, for the love of God, play this yourself. Because, like, there are so many combinations of outfits um, and, like, hair and such. The story is more or less the same, but hey, like, go ahead. Build your own boyfriend. And, Frank, um, like, sh show me how your Danny looks in the Discord server. Um, link to that is also in the description. But anyway... Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. And as always, be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.